All right, so a quick video on how to set up your fish seeker straight out of the box. Uh, what you need to do to get it all set up first time, how to calibrate it, etc. All right, first of all, just check all your things are there. Get your charger and that out and make sure that your battery's charged up. All right. Now remember, once we actually calibrate, you only have to do it once if you're in the same area. It's only once you move about 200 metres to 2k away that you've got to recalibrate. Uh, I mean, just check everything, make sure everything's okay straight out of the box. I and mean, you'll see here, this has actually got a bit of damage to this battery there. There's a puncture wound there. But I don't think the battery's been damaged. We'll just put a bit of black silicon on that. There's all your different components. Spare rubber seals are for here. All right. So my advice, I mean this very first video we'll do with, uh, for setting up the app and to calibrate it that way. Uh, we'll show you how to end up running it later on in a different video just using the magnet. You know, first time set up, what you are going to have to do is with your touch phone, go into your Google Play Store if you're a person who uses Google. And what you want to do is type in Fish Seeker. And that's the one that you want there. Alright, now if you're not someone that uses Google, maybe you're someone that watches me vids and um gets rid of google and ha has gets it from other places uh you'll be wanting to go straight on the internet and get it from apk pure oh. or you can get it from apk mirror get it from a different place altogether and that way that you know if you're not if you're using a de-googled phone uh this way you can still use it without being involved with google all right so but as i say most people are just going to be on Google, so that's all you've got to worry about is go, go to your Google Play Store, type in Fish Seeker, get the app. First thing you want to do is set up the app. You'll be turning it on. We're going to go and plug the Fish Seeker in there, and of course the location access. What you want to do is say yes, you want to allow that. You want to allow Bluetooth. Okay, we're going to go into here, turn on location, yes. And then you want to make sure it's set up. And we've got there, allowed only while in use. Yeah. We're not going to allow it all the time, only while it's been used. All right, back out of here, so location on. Okay, so now we're going to go and plug the fish seeker in, and then I'm going to show you how to do the calibration. Now you'll see here in the booklet, it's shown you XYZ. And it's pretty simple, we're just going to be flipping it from forwards to backwards just once they're going to be doing a corkscrew like a barrel roll and then you're just going to be doing you know north south east west spinning it around all right well north east and then south and west all that or that way around i mean they've actually got the arrows going that way so they've got it going north uh west south and then east all right you just got to spin it once and then you'll hear the motor rev three times if it doesn't rev three times and it revs four that means there's a fault so we'll go out and get the fish seeker set up and we'll show you how to do the calibration. That's mainly that's for your GPS. Alright, so now we've got the app set up. Of course you do want to make sure that you've got Bluetooth turned on, on your phone. And of course have your location turned on as well. Alright. Now we're gonna just plug the battery in. And then we're gonna go into here. We're going to settings. Make sure connect with Bluetooth, fish seeker. Okay, we'll see if it's connected by opening the hatch. We'll see if it opens. Alright, so the hatch is opened. Alright, we're just going to close the hatch again. Alright, so that's fine. Alright, so now I'm just going to quickly screw that together. And then we're going to do the calibration. Alright, now I should put back together. So what we're going to do is just go into the calibration. Go up to your settings. Go into calibrate compass. You'll see there, what we're going to do is press start calibration and then we're going to do the flip. You'll see that's exactly what we're going to do that flip that way and we're going to do a barrel roll and we're going to do it that way. Exactly what the picture shows. Alright, so we're just going to hit start calibration and then we're going to do that. 
after you spin it around, put it on the flat ground, you'll see here it spun three times. So it means that it's successful. Yeah, calibration complete. Now yeah, for the navigation. So whatever direction you want to go in there. Um, yeah, of course your timer as well. Uh, however long you want it to be putting out for. If you're in a, in a wee river and you, when you're trying to get it out further than you can cast, my advice only do it for like 30 seconds. Especially if you're on a uh, fishing reel, it's going to take it out pretty fast. Uh, if you're dragging a Kentucky long line uh, and you're actually out at sea, you're going to be wanting to go between your four to six minutes, just depending on how rough it is out there or how calm the sea is, etc. Alrighty, so now we're calibrated anyway. Just put it, I'm not actually going to run it, but we'll just put on 30 seconds for this. Now we've got to calibrate. See there, set head and point the fish seeker in the direction you want it to go. Okay. So I want it to go in that direction. Like that. Continue. So now it's going to be going directly in that heading as it goes out to sea. And the way that I point it. Alright. And then of course we'll be going to start it. Well, you don't want to be running them dry either. I'm just going to quickly do a quick thing here and just quickly show you it's starting but we've calibrated it now it's all ready to go just showing you how to see the heading you just point it to where you want to go of course we can go in here we can change it again go into here calibrate your heading okay so what we can do is face that wherever direction you want it to go out to see make sure this isn't where it can suck up stones either okay now we want to go continue i mean i normally hold this and then go continue all right and that tells you that it's done. Heading success. Heading set. Right, and then you'll be playing. But I'm going to stop it anyway. Oh. I'll probably stop that. Now, remember, this was a full setup. Setting up the app and everything on your on your phone. I will do another one just showing you how to use this. Just doing the magnets only. Um... I'll quickly do another one also, uh, just showing a quick calib, just calibrating only, uh, because this one here was, it was, a, it was a long one, because we've done the app, showing you step by step, that was straight out of the box, exactly how to set this up, so you're ready to go now, um, uh, so there was, all that's left is just walk up to the water, just before you put it in, press the play button, don't drop your phone in the water. <laughs> So many people drop their phone in the water, don't drop the phone in the water. Hence why we'll do a video showing you how to do it with the magnet now that we've actually calibrated it. So you can calibrate it up in the dry, do it with this, this here so it's all done. And it doesn't matter if you do unplug your battery and charge it, the calibration's already set. So you don't have to keep recalibrating it every, every time you unplug it and charge it, okay? Um, so therefore you can just get, end up start starting it with the magnet once you've got it all programmed in here. So it knows it's six minutes, all that's going to stay in here the calibration in the six minutes so then you can just start using the magnet but that's another video showing you the magnet that was just setting up start to go so now you're set to go don't forget to leave a like subscribe enjoy the fishing catch some fish